Hi guys, welcome back to another Little Geek Reviews. This time we're going to go through the actual He-Man, the most powerful mutant in the universe. So it's quite funky, this type of one. Now, where all the turtles had the good guys on the front of the packaging, this has got the, the evil guys, so you've got Skeletor and Shredder there at the top there. So obviously He-Man is the bad boy in this one. Now the back and art, you have got Shredder there in front of a new version of Slime Pit. Are we going to start to get play sets in this line? Let's hope so. But down underneath the card art there, you have got him there with his little weapon accessory. And then all the other figures that came out with the wave. It includes a comic book, so let's crack them open and have a little closer look. So the comic book itself comes with the, the power of pizza. So it's all like the first wave type of stuff, which we have. I think I've gone through this with um, Leonardo as well. And then he comes with the little print-off modular what type of things pop off. So you've got your head, your arms, your hands, your waist and your boots as well, the removable parts. So first initial thoughts on He-Man in this variation. I'm just not too sure on the actual head sculpt with this. It looks a little bit small considering. So if we just bring He-Man in as well, it just doesn't really look, although he's supposed to be mutated He-Man. You'd think it would be still a bit similar face features as well. I mean, where's the bandana come from? <laughs> but the it's like, a, it's not see-through. It's just like a translucent type of effect and his arms are a hell of a lot bigger again just bringing in the normal he-man so it's at least twice double the size the actual chest brace on there it's got the big h on the front and he's got all these little orange spikes going on his waistband although it's like underneath Completely missed this section. They uh, ended up just getting deleted from it. Uh, what I was was talking about the actual translucent type of colour on them and all these like electric blue type of shocks that are going through them there. Also, the actual bell cuff. I was mentioning that this was actually removable as well. And then more so with the detail, his little feet there, with his little open pack of a monster munch coming through his boots. <laughs> Other little things that do pop off. If I just take his hand off, these gauntlets actually remove as well. So just slide this hand back in. So you could have that variation without the actual gun as well and then last thing if I just bring that chest plate down you can actually see all of those like electric type of blue veins going through his whole chest as well so it looks good with or without and he's got those little snarly little red eyes and the big white teeth popping out there. And then he does come with a little like spike or accessory, but just in the grey. And he has got one grip of hand to hold in that also. But there he is, mutated He-Man. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. What do you think of this line? While you're there dropping those comments, do the usual with the like, subscribe, tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. 
Well, thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care.